So you're at retirement and you're thinking about your investments and your portfolio and you're asking yourself, can I guarantee a monthly income each month in retirement with a heckum? Well, we're going to find out today on Inside Secrets 2. Welcome, I'm Kenneth Manessi with KeyToVegasHome.com, powered by EXP Realty right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and also the author of this second book, Inside Secrets 2, what I wish my agent would have told me about reverse mortgages at retirement. This week's special guest, we have an expert at guaranteed rate, Mr. Michael Rodriguez, to break down why it is that we can have a guarantee at retirement with our monthly income. Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ken. I always appreciate the invitation. I, I love the show and uh, happy to, to help contribute today. Ah, excellent. So I went ahead and opened it with a guarantee about a monthly income using a HECM. Help us break down what a HECM is and why we can guarantee a monthly income for those that are looking at retirement. No, absolutely. So a HECM is a home equity conversion mortgage, more properly known as a reverse mortgage. And kind of like the name explains, it helps you convert some of your existing equity into actual cash. Uh, which in today's you know time with inflation, all the things being what it is, you know, cash is king. So for somebody to be able to stay in their home and convert some of that equity to real dollars in their pocket is a game changer. Yes. And or if you're not loving the home you're in, mm. you can also either upgrade your lifestyle using a HECM or downsize into the home that you need for retirement using a HECM. So let's break that down. So let's talk about, I know you have a story you want to share with us. Let's talk about how that is possible using a HECM. No, absolutely. So a few people know that you can actually use the HECM for a purchase loan, um, which is amazing because you can buy a house and actually never make a payment. Not a bad deal. So um, we actually just had a, a scenario with, with a couple. Um, they were selling their property and they were going to net, you know, somewhere roughly around 500,000 bucks or so. Uh, but they wanted to buy a home that was closer to about 600,000. Um, fixed income. Um, husband was a retired veteran, um, just a, a great guy. Uh, his service to our country was amazing, but um, he was really hesitant about taking out a hundred thousand dollar loan. And he was convinced that the only way that he was going to take out the loan is if he was going to utilize his VA benefit. Um, so through several conversations and just really being patient and kind of unpacking, you know, what a, a HECM for purchase really looked like for them, you know, we were able to get them into that $600,000 property with that $100,000 mortgage, but with no impact to their cash flow. They're actually going to improve their cash flow because they're going to be receiving a stipend every month. So um, as they were, you know, really kind of educated on the process, um, it was just for them a, a no brainer. But again, it's that mindset of, you know, I, I don't want to take out a loan. If I do, I want it to be a VA or, you know, you have this fixed idea of what it should be. And it's just our job as advisors to be able to unpack, you know, what what's really out there and what the pros and cons are. Yeah. And I mean, for so long, we've been trained to think forward mortgages, going to the bank, getting the money, and then the bank owns the house and we're paying it off versus reversing that whole process or using a HECM where we are now being paid for the equity and that whole process reversed. Like you said, it takes people some real time to grab the, their mind around the fact that, wait a minute, I'm going to actually buy a more expensive home. So break down a little bit about that because I know people are starting to ask, well, wait a minute, they had a $600,000 home. And so tell us what that looks like. And more importantly, what the guarantee, and obviously it, it will change, every situation will change based on people's um, numbers, but give us kind of an example of what that would look like. You buy a $600,000 home, you have no monthly payment, and yet you're getting paid each month. How does that work, Michael? Trust me, I taught a class to a group of real estate agents last week, and they were like, why do banks do this? So it, it's a it's definitely something, you know, that is a paradigm shift in terms of how you think of a mortgage. So in, in the big picture of the um, reverse mortgage, there's really three ways um, that a, a loan can work. Um, one is the, the buyer can just essentially get like a lump sum payout. 
and it's just a one-time payout. That's their money. They never make a payment on the loan. The other option is they can get a reoccurring monthly draw, basically just, you know, pick a number, thousand bucks a month, and that, that payment is guaranteed. Or the last option, which is one of the more popular options, is similar to like a home equity line of credit or think of like a credit card where you can just take the proceeds as necessary um, and ultimately use that money for a vacation to put a kid through school, whatever it is. Um, so in our particular circumstance uh, with these buyers, they opted for the home equity line because they wanted to have some access to the funds, but they didn't necessarily need money on, on a monthly basis. So um, it's where you can really get very creative uh, but it takes time to understand what the needs and wants are of the prospective buyer, because unfortunately, in in our industry, we tend to be a, a one size fits all kind of kind of you know that's how a lot of lenders tend to work. So you've got to take time and really dig into you know what their ultimate goals are. And in this case, you know they wanted access to the money, uh, but they didn't want to make a payment. So obviously, as we worked through uh, the consultation and through several other co conversations, you know we're able to find the right solution for them. Yeah, and that's what people don't understand. There's so much misinformation and lack of information about what is factually correct about using a HECM reverse mortgage that people don't understand that unless you sit down, and I'm going to tell people right now, you need to sit down with Michael Rodriguez and his team at Guaranteed Rate and ask your specific question, because I know there are people, especially when they start hearing about this, they're starting to ask all these questions. And instead of going to their brother or their family member or whoever that's not in this space and asking those questions, they get a lot of misinformation. Absolutely. And that's what people need to do. They need to sit down with a professional, an expert, so that they can get the information they need that will impact. I even said the word guaranteed, impact their retirement. Now, I use that word guaranteed, and obviously it's a play on your uh, company guaranteed rate, but why is this guaranteed? So um, I'll touch on that in one second, but to, to your point, you know, it's something that I, I tell people through the, through the years, it's like some of the most expensive advice that you'll ever get is the free advice from friends and family. And when it comes to the, the reverse space, you know, people will start doing some research online. And, and again, there's a lot of uh, information that are uh, contradict itself, contradict itself. So one of the things that we do early on is if there are children that are involved in the decision making process, uh, we loop them in. So similar to how we would loop a real estate agent in, you know, when we're going over the purchase numbers, you know, we want this to be a, a family decision because again, we don't want to have this great conversation with the parents and then the kids are behind the scenes, you know, doing a Google search and then trying to discredit everything. So you know, we, we try to be very mindful of that. So now to answer your question in terms of the guarantee, that's one of the, the, the huge pieces to this is that the product, the way that it's structured is you're actually guaranteed that money in the sense of if your home value ultimately were to move lower, the bank cannot suspend any of the payouts. Um, as the home appreciates in value, you can actually get access to additional equity. So it's a product that that's really geared uh, to protect the senior in terms of setting up a floor, but it does not have a ceiling necessarily in terms of, you know, being able to, you know, take as much money as, as you qualify for based on your age and, and the amount of equity that's in the property. And, and we need to discuss because the two terms that will come up on the regular in regards to guarantee is HUD and FHA. So mm -hmm. Break that down a little bit for us, because obviously when we say FHA, first thing that people think about is first time home buyer. But actually, this is a product that's guaranteed through FHA. So help us understand that, too, Michael. Yeah. So FHA, you're right. A lot of people just associate FHA with a first time home buyer loan. Um, that's not the case. FHA has a variety of products. They've got their traditional first time uh, home buyer products. They have a renovation product. They have the reverse product. So FHA has got quite a few options for people. Um, and, you know, the, the thing that makes FHA so attractive is that it does have that government guarantee from HUD, Housing and Urban Development. So um, if there's ever a scenario where a loan goes sideways, you know, the lender has some additional insurance uh, from the government to offset the loss. So that's where a lot of these programs can become very attractive because, you know, the interest rates are going to be a little bit better than you would get on the traditional loan and the credit guidelines are going to be a little bit uh, more flexible. 
So it, it's um, it, it really does work well in terms of buyers across the board. But in the reverse space, I think one of the, the things that we'd like to touch on in, in terms of the FHA piece is that because it does have that government guarantee, there is no credit score requirement for this particular loan. Um, we're not looking at, at income. So what we're looking at, and not to be too nerdy, is what we call residual income. So at the end of the day, how much money do you have to live off of um, in order to you know, make sure that we're, we're structuring the loan um, in a way that you're going to be successful? Because the one thing that makes the um, home equity or the reverse mortgage different than a traditional loan is the taxes and the insurance are not included in the monthly payment. So the home buyer is responsible to pay those um, uh, the insurance premium on an annual basis. They're responsible for paying the taxes quarterly here in Clark County. So when we're looking at that residual income piece, we're making sure that you know they have enough money to live off of after they pay the taxes, pay the insurance, pay the homeowners association. Um, so it's a very lenient product, uh, but again, it, it's a complete shift in how we ultimately qualify a buyer. Yeah, and that's the thing that when I'm out there talking with people and when I have someone who calls me and says, hey, listen, I'm selling here in California, I'm going to buy all cash. The first question I ask is, is this going to be a retirement home, your um, primary residence and stuff? And if I hear yes, the next question I'll usually ask them is, have you considered, uh, has anyone discussed with you a HECM? And I can tell you at this point, 99% of the right. people that I talk to have no clue what I'm talking about. And one of the things that I got to make sure that people understand so that we, again, keep those kids from Googling misinformation is the idea of no taxes. Now, you mentioned taxes. Yes. You have to pay property taxes, yes. just like a forward mortgage, your HOA, your insurance. You've got to keep that in place. But the money is not taxed. Why is that, Michael? So when you're taking out the reverse mortgage and you're you're getting access to the equity, that money does come out tax free, and that that's across the board. Um, that money, you're when you buy a primary residence in general, when you sell a property, if you're a single individual, you have a two hundred fifty thousand dollar exclusion, meaning that if you sell the property and you make less than two hundred fifty k in actual profit, the government doesn't tax it. But in, in the reverse space, because you're not selling the property, you're just accessing the equity on a, either monthly basis or with the equity line. Um, there's no reportable income or anything along those lines. Um, so it's an incredibly efficient vehicle um, because you're getting dollar for dollar. If you take a, a thousand bucks out of your, your HECM account, you're getting a thousand bucks. Where if you take a thousand bucks out of your 401k, you know, you're getting 65 bucks, you know, when it, when it stuff settles. <laughs> yeah, that's, Just that's, being all. Honest. <laughs> thanks for being honest about that. The reality that people can get their money tax free. I mean, cause at the end, when we talk about retirement, my gosh, the first thing, and I know the government is talking about raising the retirement age for your 401 and all those things. Here's something that is baked in, by the government, by FHA and HUD, at 62, you can have access to this as long as you have equity in the home or if you want to buy and use a HECM for purchase so that you can have tax-free money available to you and guarantee either a monthly payment. Real quick, let's just break down the part where you had mentioned, because I know these, when I'm listening to you speak, I'm hearing these voices obviously from all the people I've talked to about this, the question is they took a line of credit at what rate do the people get that money? So I know that that is something that is thinking people, a lot of people are thinking about. So how is that guaranteed also? As far as just the, the equity line component of the HECM? Yes. So if they're going to use that as a line of credit and it's growing at a percentage, how does that, how does that play out for um, those that want to use a HECM? So when you buy the house, everything is a formula. So the, the younger you are, okay, the, the more equity you, we have to have in the property to get you qualified for the reverse mortgage. And on the flip side, the older the borrower, uh, the smaller the equity component. And that, that's just, you know, the, the reality of life where we're basing it essentially on the, the person's lifespan. Right. So the younger you are, obviously there's a, a larger equity position, but the idea is your, obviously your lifespan is going to go longer. So as the property continues to appreciate in value, 
um, with the adjust, there's a without getting too nerdy, but there the way the product is structured, it's an adjustable rate uh, mortgage. But that actual equity line can grow over time, so it continues to give them additional resources that they can access um, over the the lifespan that they're in the property. And as long as they live in the home. You know, they're going as an owner occupied, they're going to have access to that money. Um, everything is turned off once they move out of the property or they sell, you know, whatever that looks like. But um, yeah, as long as they're in the property, they're going to have access to, to their funds. Yes. And for those that are wanting the specific information, this is your opportunity to reach out to Michael Rodriguez and sit down with him and ask those specific questions. Obviously, we didn't talk about the rates or the actual numbers because your situation is going to vary based on what Michael just laid out for you, but you need to get that information. This is part of your retirement plan. This is not just something that, oh yeah, I heard about someone doing it and yeah, the bank owns the house when you die or something. No, <laughs> This is information you need today so that you can plan, even if you're not 62, even if you're just like me getting very close to that point, you need to get the correct information so you can start planning your retirement and have a guarantee. I mean, let's face it, folks. There is no guarantee with the stock market, with your 401, with all of those things that we have set aside as a nest egg and hoped was going to be there so that we can continue our lifestyle. Here's an opportunity to guarantee it. So, Michael, thank you for coming on the show, Inside Secrets, too. We're going to put all of Michael's links for you so that you can reach out today to him and get your specific question answered. And more importantly, figure out with Michael and his team and your family a way to do just that. Create the retirement that has guaranteed income and more importantly, be able to rest at night knowing that you've made all the right decisions at retirement. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you as always, Ken. I appreciate it, sir. Uh, you know what? I can't wait for people to get a chance to sit down with your team. I have taken a lot of my clients through Michael's team. And let me tell you, they are top-notch professional people that are there through every process of every mortgage. And I really do appreciate everything they've done for my clients. If you'd like to get a copy of this book about reverse mortgages, all you have to do is go to keytovegashome.com under the homeowner tab. Click the link there. You can actually download right now for free. Or if you put your address in, I'll mail you a hard copy so that you have access to this information. Michael, thank you again for being on Inside Secrets 2. Again, all of his contact information will be there. Reach out to Michael today. Get your question answered and let us help you enjoy your retirement. That's guaranteed. Michael, thank you. Thank you.